digging a tunnel like this is a big job. As you know, explosives are sometimes used to blast through the rock. But nearby are houses, offices, and shops with people going about their daily lives. What's the best way to blast through rock with the least possible disturbance? In this test explosion, for instance, the many pieces of rock and flying debris show that the explosive charge is not being used efficiently. Engineers at the University of Maryland worked out a technique for directing the force of an explosion using a plastic sheet as a model. Ordinarily, the sheet split apart along several lines like this. With a special collar around the explosive, the photographic record shows the sheet broke in two as they had planned, along the diagonal line. Next, a test with an actual slab of rock. The notches on the side of the hole for the explosive are supposed to direct the force of the blast. A high-speed camera recorded the explosion. Again, the sample split as they had planned. Finally, they were ready for a real challenge. Split rock 28 along the yellow line. Holes were drilled in the rock. The special shield around the explosive will direct the force of the blast in the proper direction. The explosive was rammed into the hole and covered with dirt. Five, four, three, two, one. During the explosion, there was a little smoke and a few small pieces of rock in the air. The four by eight foot block of granite was blown into two pieces with a smooth, clean break. Engineers will be able to blast through rock with less disturbance to the public because of research into the efficient use of high explosives.